I'm gonna be straight with y'all. I am not in the right state of mind. I am uh, I, I'm a little foggy, because I, I just got back from Taiwan a few days ago. Beautiful trip, amazing, but I also have the worst jet lag I've ever experienced in my life. So as of now, I don't know what time it is. I don't know what year it is or my full name. To say I am not firing on all cylinders is an understatement. I'm firing on a, maybe one and a half. That could be generous. I'm solo cinderilling, solo cylindering, like a single core engine. With that in mind, thank you for bearing with me. If you would prefer not to see me with fewer brain cells than usual, then please bypass this video. All right, sometimes, no, this time, I'm going to build a portable traveling PC, a traveling gaming PC. Cause that, like I said, I just got back from Taiwan. I've been traveling a lot more lately, you know, ever since, uh, you know, COVID's been, it's been uh, chilling out, not quite as restrictive. The world's opened up a bit by now. And I'm traveling a lot more for work, for funsies. So I wanna have a nice gaming PC that I can tote around that is all inclusive. What do I mean by all inclusive? Well, usually the big the, the big part is the monitor, right? The, the PC, you can get a PC pretty darn small these days. They've really done a number on these small form factor cases. They're just getting tinier by the minute. But the monitors are still big. Now they do have the portable monitors, portable gaming displays that are more like laptop size. But the problem with those is that they don't really have the best stands. They, they, they got like the little little backing, the little uh, tablet sleeve that lets you put it straight on the, the desk or whatever surface. But then you gotta look down at it, you know? You gotta look down at it like it's inferior. Like, you know, like you're its boss. And then you get neck strain because you're looking down so much for hours on end. It's not a good way to game. Now I know they do have some very, very few portable monitors with, with stands, but that also just, I wanna take it a step up, you know? I'm trying to get to the next level. And so what I wanna do today is not just build a PC, but somehow integrate one of these portable displays into the computer. Probably not in the computer, cause it's not gonna fit, but maybe like, somehow mount the display onto the case, the chassis of our system. Gaming PC and gaming monitor in a single G unit. That's gaming unit, not gangster. Although it will be gangster too. The GG unit, yes. And I have a, an idea of how to do that. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try. Uh, let me show you the, the, the case that I'm working with. Before we continue, thanks to CD Key Offer for sponsoring this video. Right now, CD Key Offer is having a Windows 10 sale, including global lifetime keys for Windows 10 Pro. Right now, they're even letting you stack my offer code on top of their offer. Use code BW20 at checkout for an additional discount and snag a legit Windows 10 key for just 16 bucks. Afterwards, simply view and copy the key you just purchased, paste it into the Windows activation page, and presto. Enjoy every feature Windows 10 has to offer, ditch the watermark, and even use it for a free upgrade to Windows 11. CDKeyOffer.com is also having a back-to-school physical sale on gear like mechanical keyboards, gaming headsets, RGB decor, and more. Remember kids, just because you're going back to school doesn't mean you can't leverage this awful time in your life to your benefit. By the way, you don't need to be a student to take advantage of any of these deals, so congratulations, everything sucks a lot less for you. Check out the links in the description below and start browsing all of the limited time deals on CDKeyOffer.com. Uh, let me show you the, the, the case that I'm working with. It's the SSUPD, or is it SSPUD? No, it's SSUPD. Meshlicious. Meshlicious, Fergalicious, Delicious. All right, this case I've worked in before. When it first came out, I did a build in it, and it was cool, and I liked it, but it was just for the video, and then I kind of disassembled it and never touched it again. And I thought, you know what, this is a good case. This is probably, probably my favorite Mini Itex case in the year it came out, which was last year. It's got uh, 280 millimeter rad support, which is why we're putting in a Frostflow X280. I stacked this up against uh, a Corsair H150i Elite LCD a few months back. This thing performed almost just as well for a third of the price. 
mind you. So I brought it back today. It's going in here, and I like how it's blacked out. We're going more blacked out today. Not a whole lot of RGB in this system. We've got an AMD system. This is gonna be an all AMD build. We're going all AMD, folks, because why not? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why in a minute, but I've got, I'm going big, boy. Ryzen 9. 7950X. Now, do you need one of these in a gaming PC? Absolutely not. But who knows? I might be on the road. I might be in Georgetown, Nebraska. That's not a real place. But if it were, I could be there. And I might be on a workcation where after I'm done gaming, I might be like, you know what? I'm going to do a little editing. Who, who's down for a little editing? To which they'll reply, nothing, because it's just me. There's no one I'm talking to but I'll want to edit. And so I need them cores. This is a this is a, a bona fide 16 core, 32 thread chip, y'all. This ain't your mama's CPU. Maybe your daddy's, maybe your granddaddy's. All right, so this is maybe your, maybe your grandson's, really, you know, this is progressive. This is the CPU going in the B650i Aorus Ultra from Gigabyte. Nice little mini ITX. Mobo, Let's see what we got here. Mmm, look at all them juicy features. That eight plus two plus one phases digital BRM. I think, I think motherboard manufacturers just want to prove to us that they can add, right? That's all this is. That's what's really going on here when you think about it. PCI Gen 5 support. Oh, baby, baby, baby. 16 gigs per stick of G-Skill Trident Z5 Neo. That's 32 gigs, folks. Now I'm proving to you that I can add. I'm a fancy pants boy. Highly educated in the skill of arithmetic. G skill. Non RGB again, going blacked out boys. Cause you know, when I'm traveling and stuff, I don't want this to attract too much attention, right? If I'm at a star buckaroos or something, I don't want it to just be a laser light show. People thinking I'm raving out in the cafe. Nah, keeping a low profile. As low as we can keep it with this relatively tall tower. It's a tall tower, but the footprint is itty bitty, as you can see, right? This takes up less space on a desk than a laptop. Take that, notebook makers. Two terabyte Zadak. A Zadak Spark, two terabyte NVMe SSD. This is just PCIe Gen 3, but it's a gaming PC mostly, first and foremost. So I would rather take the high capacity of two terabytes than the extra speed gained with PCI Gen 4 or Gen 5. Those Gen 5 drives are pretty scarce still right now, but it's a good drive. Two terabytes, A50 GM, Supernova, power supply from EVGA. You know, they may not be making the graphics cards no more, but by golly, I'm certainly glad they're still making PSUs. I like their PSUs. I'm a fan. I think they're upstanding. I like what they're doing with PSUs. 80 plus gold certified. Modular. All right, and this is SFX, of course. We can fit a regular size ATX unit in here in the mesh leshes, but I don't, I don't suggest that. I, I, don't, I wouldn't want to do that. Wouldn't want to do that unless you're a contortionist and you know what you're doing there. And then we've got the Keychron K7. This is not going in the computer because this is a keyboard. This goes outside of the computer. You might say, in the system's peripheral vision, this keyboard does go. This is a tiny little keyboard, 65. I think it's a 65 percenter, maybe a 68. I think it's 68 keys, but they're low profile mechanical switches. The Keychron, I'm a big fan of Keychron. I use Keychron's uh, other K4 at home every day. And this is wireless or wired. You can go either or. I don't have the mouse here because my mouse is just the one I always use when I use at home. Logitech G502 wireless. That's my, my go-to, it's my daily. And then we have the graphics card. None other than the AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX. My, 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 look at you, hoo, hoo, hoo. Now there's a lot of reasons why I chose this card over something like the Nvidia equivalent, which would be something like the RTX 4080. For one, this just fits a lot better in a small form factor system. It's two slots, maybe two and a half. Now we can't accommodate up to a four slot GPU in here, but you know how it is. We have a bit of, of breathing room is what I'd call it with this GPU, which gives me that peace of mind. Our temperatures are gonna stay relatively in check. The other reason why something like an RTX 4080 would be a bad call, or at least the 4080 Founders Edition is because it's got 
that fan, that damn fan, right? It's got two fans, one over here and then one on the end. Where do you think this is gonna go? It's gonna go right up against the back of that motherboard. In this case, the GPU slots right there. Card goes in like that. It's a dual chamber design. GPU on this side, MOBO on the other side. And the MOBO goes right here. And this is, so you're gonna see the back of the motherboard right here. This thing's gonna be twerking on you right here. And that GPU, that Nvidia GPU, that fan is gonna go right up against that. And that's got no clearance. There's maybe, maybe a, a two hairs of clearance between that fan and that motherboard twerking. And that's not gonna be good for our thermals. So another reason why we go AMD. Now, of course, that's just Founders Edition. We could use an aftermarket card, but those are just big. Again, then the, the, if you go for aftermarket, then you're again dealing with my first point. You're maxing out the clearance. It's just a little too tight, a little too close for comfort. All right? And we're getting just tons of performance out of this thing. This thing is the 7900 XTX is stupid fast. Beast mode, full throttle, and we've got two 8-pin PCIe plugs. No adapter business here, folks. No 12-volt high-power garbage that's gonna light our system on fire. We'll keep the fire in our hearts and out of our computers, all right? That's how I like to live. And this here, this right here is our monitor, okay? Uh, display from Asus, the XG17. 17 inches, it's just, just over, just over 17 inches which I think would leave anyone intimidated. We have a 240 hertz refresh rate. IPS, that's good. And it also has a built-in battery, which I think does like three hours, but we're just gonna plug it straight into the computer. Give it that infinite juice. USB-C for power, PD charging as well, and then micro HDMI. You might notice on the back of the monitor, we got a quarter inch thread, which is gonna come in handy for trying to mount this guy to the PC. So I've got this mount right here. This is for, really for cameras and stuff, but it's like a Z mount. I think they call it a Z flex mount or something. It goes something like, oh, that's so tight. I tightened it up pretty good. But there, there you go, right? It's got a quarter inch right here. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Put the monitor right there, and then put this on top of the case like that. It'll actually be something like that. And I'll probably have to do some drilling. That's why I marked, I already marked the little hole at the center. See that? That's the center of the top panel. Drill a quarter inch hole there, Screw a quarter inch screw from the bottom into the bottom of this. Boom! It's planted. It's the perfect plan. What could go wrong? Possibly everything. So that's what we're dealing with, folks. That's our build. I will put links to everything down below for y'all. I think it's time we put this together. All right, the Bibbidi build is complete. I went through this assembly. No problemos. I was fully alert and lucid the entire time. And here we are. So actually, I should probably take this off. This, oh yeah, baby. Build went pretty smoothly. You can see cable management. I uh, did my very best. Uh, not a whole lot of room in this case. Actually, I should take that back. For a small form factor mini ATX case, there's actually a lot of room, especially if you're using one of those SFX power supplies. Look at all that clearance we got there. Isn't that nice? You have a freaking, you have a little hoe down in there. There's even enough room so that you can route the cables in such a way where your fan blades can run freely. No interference there. Kind of routed a lot of the cabling up top here as well by the front IO. And then on this side, we got our GPU. Yes, look at that. Plenty of room, a lot of nice wiggle room around him. You know, he's not claustrophobic. Don't want to keep him in solitary confinement. He ain't done nothing wrong. Tip top. And this is, I don't know if you can guys get a feel for how compact this system really is. Let's see, we got anything? Here we go. How about a hat for scale? How about a nice bitwit hat for scale? Look at that. Isn't that, isn't that fascinating? God, he looks good in that hat. This, these Bitwit hats will make anything look good. Before it was just a computer. Now, he's like your best friend. Bitwit.tech, shameless plug. Go, go check out all the merchandise at Bitwit.tech. Get this fancy little hat for yourself. Well, I think it's time to fire this guy up and make sure that he's working. And I'm gonna actually use the, the XG17 to do that. All right, we're all hooked up. It's time for that test boot. Hey. 
Let's see here. Fans are spinning on the GPU. All right, we got fans spinning on the AIO. What do we got over here? Give him a second. He's a little shy. Maybe he's just frustrated and needs someone to turn him on. Oh, that ain't the splash screen. That's the monitor. Ah ha ha! There we go. Baby, we are ready for Windows installation. Actually, Windows installation is boring as hell. No one wants to see that, so I'm gonna skip that. Well, let's just go straight to the monitor. Hey, 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 baby, looking pretty good. Hey, this turned out a lot nicer than I expected. It's actually pretty sturdy. And the articulation is 10 out of 10. You can bend it pretty much any way you want. You can, it's got tilt, it's got height adjustment. Doesn't have swivel, but you can just, I mean, the system's so small, you just move it like that and swivel it goes. Swivel it do. Yes, the only thing, the only thing that's not so crispy about this setup is that this top panel, like all the panels on this case, is built with a push pin design. So if you don't hold it down, if you're not holding down the top while you're adjusting it, then it can easily pop off like that. And that's, that's not a good time. So that's the only thing. You gotta hold this down while you're adjusting it, and then it's fine. It's totally fine. It doesn't, it, the, the important thing is that it doesn't pop out when it's just chilling. You know, that would be a huge problem. I'd have to reinforce the top panel somehow. No, it's like, I've done all the testing. I've extended it as far out as it can go, and it, it will not pop out. I've tried and I've failed, and I'm happy to have failed. We got our wiring all set up here. We got it all plugged in as well into the PC. So we've got our micro HDMI and USB-C. That's giving us power going straight to the motherboard and GPU. The GPU cable comes out the bottom of the case right there uh, for the HDMI cable. And uh, it's a little lengthy. These are the cables that came included with the display. They're a little lengthy for this setup. I think I'll eventually replace them with maybe like foot long, $5 foot long cables. I can just go straight in without that extra side of tentacle. At this point, we can install Windows and all the games that we wanna play before taking it for a spin, but I wanna bust out this keyboard real quick. That's actually not bad, actually. That's actually pretty good, actually. Hey, 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 I like it, I like it. You all want a sound test? Yeah. Not too shabby. And look at how thin he is. This is probably gonna fit in the backpack. So uh, I forgot to mention, the way I'm planning to travel with all this is by throwing everything into a backpack. That includes the PC, the monitor, all the peripherals, keyboard, mouse, cables in a single backpack and for that job i've employed none other than the ltt backpacker rooney the folks over at uh, L lmg gave it to me when i was at ces earlier this month i guess last month now and i have yet to use it we're gonna see if it can fit this whole damn thing what do you guys think i haven't actually tested it out but uh this is really gonna put this backpack through its paces it's sink or swim for ltt and I hope it swim, even though I never want to see Linus in a bathing suit. He'd look like a little wrinkly gossip girl. And that's bad for the soul. Let's see us go! All right, all right, all right. So you might be able to hear, there's speakers, there's speakers in this monitor. We got speakers, we, I think there's one on the left, one on the right here. So we're getting blasted evenly. It's at max volume right now, which isn't very loud, but it actually doesn't sound too bad. I mean, it sounds not great, but it doesn't sound like, I don't wanna rip my ears off, you know? So this is again, a 240 Hertz refresh rate display. You can see right now in the top left corner, it's a little tiny, little, uh, the frame rate counter is showing us around 400 frames per second. Damn, 
Damn, that's fast. So it is buttery smooth here. 400 frames per second, 240 hertz. Come out, buddy. Gotcha. We're at max settings, by the way, max quality. Although CSGO has never been very difficult to run. This is just an esports test. Kill that bot. Kill that bot, Orin. Send him to bot heaven. Unless he was a bad bot. Then he goes to bot hell. Halo Infinite. Max settings. We are fully turnt. Getting 200 frames per second. Oh, 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 it's so smooth. Yee -hoo -hoo. Oh, shit, he's got a sword. Oh, shit. trying to make a video here, sir. Sir, if you can just calm down with your sword. Sir, no running with scissors, please. Oh, I want a sword. Look at the energy sword. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Gotcha, baby. Gotcha again. Nope. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Making Master Chief kebabs right here. Still getting anywhere between 180, 180 to 240 frames per second. That's insane. Yeehaw. I gotta give high praise to this system, y'all. It is just a, a smoke show of a rig. And so gosh darn cute and portable too. Man, Forza 5, here we go. We got the afterburner HUD up now. It never works in CSGO for some reason. I have no idea why, but it works here. Now we got not only the frame rate, which is a very lovely 200. Pushing that, really utilizing that. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Really utilizing that 240 hertz refresh rate. And uh, 63C on the GPU is well, that's all right with me. And that's 100% utilization, y'all. We are taxing that GPU. It is cool as a cucumber. CPU, on the other hand, is at 96C, but that's pretty expected for the 7950X. Even if you got excellent cooling, it's, it's that's by design, folks. I know, if no one told you that it's supposed to get that hot, you'd be, you'd be, it'd be a pants soiling moment. You'd be looking at your system like it's Chernobyl. But we're good there. God, this is so nice. This feels so good, and it looks so good. This monitor looks really good. And I believe it's three, I wanna say three milliseconds. It's quick, not just on the refresh rate, but also on that response team A. No ghosting like you see with a lot of portable monitors. This monitor also has adaptive sync. I should mention that, which is why if you've noticed, there is no tearing. I haven't seen a single instance of screen rippage. And that is a thing of beauty. I, I don't feel like I want to stop playing this. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! And now for the ultimate test, will all this shit fit inside this backpack? The LTT backpack, it's going in. We're gonna start with the most voluminous item first, the PC. This is what I'm most concerned about. We're stuffing this backpack full, fuller than it's ever been stuffed. This backpack's at an all-you-can-eat buffet and it don't know when to quit. It's gonna be in a world of hurt after it's stretched out the way I'm about to stretch it. But look at that. Oh my goodness. It fits the whole thing. It just, this bag, it just swallowed it whole. It swallowed the system whole. <laughs> that is crazy. That is madness. I will say, this is not, this is a big ass back, but clearly this thing is ginormous. So I wouldn't say, I don't know, I wouldn't recommend it for everyday carry unless you're carrying your whole family in it. You know, maybe even your extended family. This is ginormanorm, but if you have that need, man, you will be pleasantly accommodated. Let's keep going though. We got a nice pouch in the back here for laptops or portable screens in our case. And I've got a gripe with Asus here. All that's included, apart from the cables and the screen itself, is this flimsy little stand, right? It's, you're supposed to, put it into a TP and then the display can lean against it like that's magnetic and stuff, right? If you, if you, instead of an actual proper stand, which is fine, it works fine, but there's no hard case included for, for carrying this around. This is a portable monitor. People are gonna be traveling with this monitor. They deserve to have a hard case protective sleeve or something included. Cause this is not, this don't cut it. This is not a, no, this is not, you can technically put it in front, but that's not gonna protect it. 
the way that it should be properly protected, okay? And this thing is, this was $400. This was almost 500, it's 450, 460. With tax, this is a $500 product. Asus, and you're telling me it doesn't come included with a case, a carrying case? Come on. Outrageous. Out freaking rageous. Anyway, we're gonna put it in. Hopefully it doesn't get smashed in here. Uh, yeah, that's probably the best way to do it. All right, that fits in. Lovely. And then how much more room we got in the, the main PC pouch? We got a little bit of room. Let's do the keyboard in here, y'all. If we put it on the side, the side of the system, that might do the trick. Yes, yes, you see that? Right on the side. Booyah, the mouse. And you know what, we might as well just put all the cables up here while we can. Cables, 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 cables. And that's it, we didn't even use the front pocket. You still got all this room, you still got the front pocket for Whatever you want, jelly beans, narcotics, anything you want. And this little little guy right here, little mini pouch. You know what, you know what goes in here? In my earbuds. Because I think if I'm traveling around with this, I'm not gonna bring a full-blown one of these, one of these headsets. I might just bring earbuds that have built-in mic, you know? That a good pair of earbuds with a decent mic, noise canceling. That way I could just slip that little sucker into this little pocket right here. Call it a day. See how this feels on the back. Woo! That is not mega light, but it's not mega heavy either. The straps on the backpack are pretty secure. They're pretty thick, pretty hefty. I look like a turtle, but you know, you get around, you move around. I think this is mission complete. I'm ready. I'm ready to go on a trip where I bring this whole setup along with me. Just throw it in the back and just, just game away to my heart's content. I'm excited. Where should I go? What should I do? I got some ideas. But y'all probably have some ideas too. I don't know why I've been talking Southern this whole video. I think that just, that accent just kicks in somewhere from deep within me whenever I'm very sleep deprived. So anyway, thank you for bearing with me. I, uh, I hope you're all doing well. Treat yourselves well. I'm gonna go to bed, I think. It's eight in the morning now, so I don't know if that counts as bed or a nap, but I will see y'all very soon. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.